Alright, my setup is so ghetto right now, it's not even funny. But I wanted to show you a very common issue with the 2012 13-inch MacBook Pro non-Retina. This is the bottom of the board. This is part of the RAM slot. And these pins, and uh, this is hard to do when I'm not looking through the microscope, but these pins become detached from the board. In the case of this board, every single pin is loose. Let me see if I can move this without shaking everything too much. See that? So, this is pretty tricky to do because I'm not looking through the scope, I'm looking through my phone which is currently taped to the scope. So, but take my word for it, all of them on this side are loose. I haven't even checked this side yet. But all of these are loose. And what that results in, when you lean on the palm rest, you get black bars on the screen, kernel panics, random freezes, or it doesn't even boot up. It just beeps three times. Um, it doesn't work at all. Now the issue mostly is with these first two pins. This one specifically. This is a ground pin, I believe. It's been a while since I checked this. It's been over a year since I checked the schematic on this. Now I just soldered them without knowing what each, what each pin does. But the pressure on the slot is the most at the far ends. This is always a pin that pops loose and has to be reattached. Now these have very small, let me see if I can focus on that. These are just straight pins down. There's no pad on the pin for extra grip on that solder pad underneath. So you have to scrape away, uh, where am I? Scrape away some of the trace it connects to, here and there and there, so that you can put a nice solder blob down to hold that pin in place. It's very time consuming, but it's gotta be done. Usually it's three or four pins, it's very rare that all of them pop loose, so this is going to take me a little while to fix. If you want it done properly, it's going to take you a while. You can just stick some new solder in there, just put some solder on your iron, touch it up, flow it back in place, and hope that it sticks, but you know, you don't know where this board is going to end up. You want the next owner to have this for as long as they can use it, and then maybe even sell it to someone else at that point. So just do the extra work, scrape the traces, get it done right. Now I'm gonna take the camera off the scope. And aim it down so you can see what's what. So these are, these are the pins I was talking about. And they're tiny. They're very, very tiny. So this is the, this is typically the side of the board that you see. So you have to take the board out, flip it over, take the tape off, clean this up and then go to work. Now, as you may have seen on a certain website, this is the bottom cover. Apple tried to mitigate this problem by putting some padded stuff here that applies extra pressure. Uh, let me see how the board is in like this inside the computer. So this pad applies pressure on the other side of the of the RAM bay, kind of in the hopes that it squishes these pins into the board. This is sandwiched between the case and the bottom. Of course that failed, so there's uh, a lot of later generations, they put a second layer of padding on here to squish it even harder into the board. Of course that failed, then Apple started putting, instead of these being straight pins down, they put little feet on the end of each pin, hoping to get more surface contact with the solder and the pad underneath. Of course, it didn't work, so the pins still become detached. So, these models were sold from 2012 to 2016. So this problem is gonna be around for a very long time. 
Regardless, the 13 inch 2012 non-retina MacBook Pro is my highest recommended model. If you want a reliable computer, get this one. This is an easy fix. You can do it yourself or you can send it to someone that can do it for you. But definitely, once this issue is fixed, there is no graphics issue. There's no issue with the board. Uh, there's no bad chips on here that commonly fail. The graphics are fine. The cooling is adequate. You know, they're just solid computers. Uh, find an i7. The i5s are all right, but find an i7 if you want it to last a while. Put 16 gigs of RAM in there, solid state drive. Maybe even replace the optical drive with another solid state drive or a big storage drive and you got a machine that'll last you forever. So, quick video, hope you found it interesting. I will see you later.